you very much, Jens. Um, welcome everyone to 75 SDL letters in under 10 minutes. <clears throat> so I would say you make yourself comfortable, lean back, fasten the seatbelts, because we are about to get started. Algorithms. This header contains computer science algorithms, which mostly operate on a sequence of elements. And since C20, this uh, sequence of elements does no longer only have to be provided as a pair of iterators, but can also be provided as a range or as a pair of an iterator in the center. We've got the any type, which is a type erasure wrapper for any copy constructible type. We've got array, which is a wrapper around the C style array and um, provides a container API as well as better uh, type safety than the C style array. We've got atomic, which is a um, class template that you can instantiate with any structure layer type, and then it provides well-defined concurrent access for multiple threads. We've got the barrier available in C20, which is a, a reusable thread barrier that blocks up to n threads. And when the last thread arrives, uh, the completion function gets executed and the barrier opens again. Uh, we've got it, uh, bit, which contains an enum endian to query the endianness of your hardware, and as well as several functions to access, manipulate, and process bits and bit sequences. Uh, we've got SAD bit set, which is a fixed size sequence of n bits that you can manipulate and access. We've got charconf, which provides conversion functions between character sequence and either a floating point or an integer. We've got chrono, which is the date and time library of C++. It mainly consists of clocks, time points, and durations. And since C++20, we also got calendar time, uh, calendar types, and time zones. Uh, the compare header provides library support for the three-way comparison operator, also known as spaceship operator. In complex, we've got complex number support. Uh, concepts define some common concepts that are used throughout the SDL. Uh, condition variable is a synchronization primitive that can block a thread until it gets notified and some certain condition is verified. Uh, coroutine provides library support for coroutines as well as the class template SCD coroutine handle, which is a non-owning handle to the actual underlying coroutine that the compiler generates for us. Uh, DEC is a double-ended queue. Exception provides the base class SCD exception as well as the terminal handler. The exception pointer, which is some type of raised shared pointer type to store any exception object. And we've got library support for nested exception. Execution enables us or provides us with policies to concurrently execute algorithms. The file system gives us uh, the possibility to access and manipulate files, directories, and paths. Format is a text formatting library, which is type safe and also extendable by specializing the um, class template SCD formatter for your own types. Forward list is a singly linked list. Fstream provides a basic stream buff as well as IO streams to do file IO. Function provides function objects to do arithmetic and comparison like plus minus less. It provides a standard hash function. Um, the type erasure wrapper for any callable object called SCD function and other. Um, for future provides types and functions related to asynchronous tasks. For example, you can query or wait for a future or shared future to get some result that a promise can set in another thread. Initializer list is a view of a constant array that gets first initialized. IO manip provides new manipulators that are invoked with arguments and as well as the uh, function as the quoted. IOS provides stream manipulators, stream manipulators that are invoked without arguments and it contains the two base classes for streams and uh, working with stream buffers. Um, we've got an IOS forward declaration header. IOStream provides the vier global um, objects, the out, the out, the log, and the in. IStream provides the high-level streams for reading and both reading and writing. Iterator provides tag titling concepts for six kind of iterators, provides iterator traits, and as well as adapters like a back insert and utility functions to work with iterators. Our ledge is like SCD barrier, but it's a single usage thread barrier, so it can only be reached once. Uh, limits provides a class template SCD numeric limit that can be instantiated with fundamental numeric types and provides um, options to query properties like the minimum value, maximum value, and so on. SCD list is a single, uh, a doubly linked list, sorry. Uh, local provides access to um, cultural differences like cl character classification, number formatting, and can be also overwritten by the user. Um, we've got two kinds of uh, sorted maps of key value pairs. SCD map, where each key can appear at most once, and multi map, where it can appear multiple times. We've got a memory management, um, we've got a memory, memory with the manage, memory management support, sorry, um, smart pointer, three different kinds of those, and also atomic support for shared pointer and weak pointer. We've got the allocator traits to access an allocator, and pointer traits to access pointer like types, and some utility functions to work with your raw storage. We've got memory research, which contains the SCD PMR polymorphic allocator which is an allocator that wraps a polymorphic SCD PMR memory resource. Um, and there are also three concrete predefined memory resources, uh, synchronized and unsynchronized pool resource as well as monotonic buffer resource. 
We've got the Mutex header, which provides synchronization support by mutual exclusive access. We have several different mutexes, and we have some AI locking classes as well as variadic functions to do the locking and avoid deadlocks for us. We've got some low-level man memory management in the header new, for example, the new handler, as well as overloads of operator new and delete, including some taking notes for a line bar and uh, destroying delete. We've got um, mathematical constants in the header numbers like pi and e. We've got the numeric header, which provides numeric algorithms that also work on a range or sequence of elements. But we also got GCD, LCM, and midpoint. We've got optional, which is a wrapper around some type T, which either holds the value of the type T or is empty. We've got OStream, which is a high level facility to write to a basic screen map, as well as some output manipulators. We've got the SCDQ, which is a container adapter, which represents the first out, first in queue, as well as priority queue, which also takes a comparator such that the underlying container is sorted with respect to the comparator and represents a heap. We've got random to generate random numbers. The randomness comes from some uniform random bit engine, which first uh, where it produces a randomness. And based on this, we can have a distribution, like a normal distribution, Bernoulli distribution, which then generates a random number. We've got the ranges libraries in C20. It heavily relies on concepts, for example, range, both range or view. Then we can have some range factories like view single or Yota. And most importantly, probably are the range adapters where you can take a range and pipe it into, for example, a filter view or a reverse view. Uh, we've got SC ratio, which uh, takes a numerator and a denumerator as compile time arguments and then provides some compile time arithmetic and comparison. Uh, we've got predefined type depths like microcenter, which are also used in the Chrono library. Uh, we've got a regular expression library. Scope allocator provides the scope allocator adapter such that you can have a multi level allocator, which you can plug into a multi level container like vector of list of set of string or something like that. Uh, semaphore provides a counting semaphore, which is a synchronization primitive that controls access to a shared resource like a mutex. But other than a mutex, you have some counter n, which gives the maximum amount of threads that can uh, enter access that resource simultaneously. Uh, we've got two kinds of sorted sets. Um, the SCD set ensures that each value of key appears at most once, and a multi set can appear multiple times. We've got a shared uh, mutex header, which provides both mutual exclusive access, but also shared access, depending on whether you call log or log shared. Uh, the source location describes a source in your code, um, containing also a file name and a function name. And the magic lies in the static member function current, which gets evaluated at the call side and gives you a meaningful object of type source location. Uh, we've got a span, which is a non-only view over some contiguous sequence. Uh, we've got stream, which contains a stream buff, as well as IO streams to work on strings. We've got stack, which is a container adapter that represents the last in, first out um, stack. We've got SCD exit, which defines some common exception types that are used throughout the SDL. We've got stop token, which provides thread cancellation, me thread cancellation mechanisms. So you have a stop source where at some point you can request a stop, and then you can have several stop tokens, which continuously poll whether a stop has been requested, and then do some certain action based on that. Uh, stream buff is the base stream buffer class that we have, which controls input and output to some character sequence. Um, well, we've got our SCD string. Uh, the string view is a read-only view over some contiguous sequence of characters. Sync stream is a synchronization mechanism to um, synchronize the output to some out stream, for example, C out. System error provides some low-level error codes, as well as the exception type SC system error, which then wraps an error code. We've got SC thread to start a new thread of execution. And since C++20, we also have the joining thread. Um, well, which joins automatically and can also be cancelled. And we have the next with SC build thread to access uh, the current thread. Uh, we've got SC tuple as well as some helper function for it. We've got SC type index, which is, which is a wrapper around SC type, type info and provides a hash as well as being copier, which makes it easier to use in containers. SC type info is the RTTI of some uh, type and the result after calling type ID. Type trace provides some meta programming facilities. Uh, to inspect and to transform types at compile time. Uh, we've got two kinds of hash maps of key value pairs, SCD unordered map, where each key can appear at, most, at most once, at once and SCD unordered multimap, where it can appear multiple times. We've got uh, the same for hash sets, basically. Uh, utility provides a pair, as well as integer sequence and some utility functions. We've got a numeric vector called Valary. We've got a variant, which is a sum type that stores the value of one of the types to specify in the template argument list. We've got our vector or dynamics contiguous array. And last but not least, we've got versions in C++ 30, which provides some feature test markers where you can check whether certain features are available or not. Thank you very much. Wow, 75 indeed. 
Thank you. Um, which, yeah, thank you, Kirian. That was really interesting. Um, 